Heather from Manchester Rocks here with Chemicals of Democracy. How, How you doing, doing, guys? What's up, man? Great. How are you? Not bad. I'm feeling a little bit rough today, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. aren't we all? <laughs> I've seen a few people staggering through crawling, today. Crawling, crawling. I've seen so many people crawling in here. It's crazy. I interviewed a guy yesterday who had a bucket with him because he was that ill. Really? Yeah, just in case he needed to like... Oh. Yeah. But he was okay. He made it through and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys played, was it yesterday? Yes, we played How yesterday. did it go? Wow, it went awesome. Phenomenal. It went, went phenomenal. You guys it was enjoy a really, it. Really good show, yeah. It was oh, absolutely great. a great show. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So you've come from Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, we're afraid so. 20 <laughs> hours of traveling, and we, we made it. 20 hours. Mm -hmm. Well, that's commitment, though, for you to come here. Yeah, I, I drove drove the, our, our tour bus into a ditch. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> oh. No, I've already heard about oh, no. this. I met Gary yesterday. Had they shut and he up? Told me no, all really? About it. Yeah. That damn sat now. <laughs> nice. Was it you who was nice. driving? It was me. It was me yeah. who was driving. Yes. That's the best line yet. I heard. Yeah, I've already heard, heard that. Everybody's heard about that. Everybody's well, you heard still hear, so you must have got out that ditch, all right. Ah, I, I was panicking because, literally. I went to do a U-turn because the navigation told me to yeah, make a turn too now. late. It made it, it said make it after I pass it. I was just like, oh, great. So I went to do a U-turn, and the bus is really long, and the roads are really narrow. Yeah. And I was driving for like three or four miles, and there was no place to turn around. So I'm like, I have to turn this thing around. <laughs> just like, we're going way out of our way. We've been driving for six hours. I really don't. You know, now we're, we're looking at eight miles mm. driving back and forth. So I went to flip, turn it around. And in the ditch you went. I went, to, when as soon as I backed up, I backed up like three feet. And then all of a sudden the, the wheels just dropped into the ditch. <laughs> the bottom of the body was on the pavement and the wheels were hanging in the air. Oh my gosh. So I'm just like, and this is pitch black at night, 12 midnight. And uh, it's horrifying. Rainy. Horrifying. Rainy. It's pouring yep. rain. Welcome to Wales. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get, I'm afraid. Yeah. That's not as bad as him. Dude, I flipped out. Oh, geez, you, you need to keep you're, calm. Keep everyone seen else a, nice like, a and movie calm. When you want to smack somebody, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I felt like doing. Oh my god, <laughs> it was together, so man. bad. I was losing it because the thing is, it's just like Sammy came all the way from Brazil. Yeah. You know, we just took a, a spent a million, had a million dollars spent the first to get out here, you know, and we're not going to make it, you're going to have to call a tow truck, we're not going to make the show, all because JQ drove the van into a ditch. So that'd be a great so story. Like... him because he overreacted. The best was, you made it. The, the, the best was, you know, he's like, no way we're pushing this out, there's no way we're pushing this out, there's no way we're pushing this out, right? So I learned later that they're all back there pushing, and Scott's like, Scott's like, yeah, we got Sammy. Sammy's uh, a top number number two power lifter in I've Brazil. I've heard that as well. Right? And so Scott tells me, he's like, oh, yeah, I was pushing with my finger. Yeah. <laughs> Contributing there. Uh... I get this out now. <laughs> <laughs> you got Sammy. What am I going to do here? <laughs> um, nice. Lovely. Nice. Yeah. Have you played Hammerfest before? Yes, we played, we last, played year. last year. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you came back this year. Yes, we did. Is this yeah. a last minute thing? So. Oh, okay. It's quite a last minute thing. Is this your only uh, date in the UK? You got any more gig dates coming up? There's a uh, uh, Abizia is on the table. Oh, yeah. Hard Rock Hell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd um, be great. Yeah. There's some other things in the works too. Right. We just want to solidify the. Obviously, we, we had to replace two guitar players. Okay. Right. So. So the guitar players are new. What's your first gig? Yeah. First, yeah. Time first, first gig in the main, first rehearsal. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. So you were just thrown right yeah. in that play. Gig, first yeah. rehearsal. We, we, we met him face to face on Thursday. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did all you all getting along nice, we've all made friends now. Oh, yeah, we freaked absolutely. him out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's just like, he had a conversation with us last night, and we all sat down in the trailer. He's like, okay, guys, so. Do you like want me to still play after the show? I'm like, dude, we wanted you to play after <laughs> in, the, in the band before we even played with you. You're in. Don't worry about so it. So how did you come across Sammy to be I, a new guitarist? God is on our side. That I always helps. I met, I met him in, like, uh, 08. Uh, we were recording. This was back when we were a three-piece. Um, through an engineer uh, at the studio. And he liked our stuff back then, so we kind of oh, okay. kept tabs on each other. He was younger, like you said. He was, you know, back in 08. So we were looking for that style of playing, though. So he'd sent over, there's a song on the album called Judas, mm -hmm. which uh, the other guitar player, Harrison, did a solo. It was like amazing. It's like 
I won't sit down and learn it. I tried to learn it, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take like a you know month out of my life or two months to learn that solo. Mm -hmm, yeah. Whereas this guy, this he made a video of him do, doing that like twice as fast. Mm -hmm. It was just like you twice as making everyone hard. look bad now. You covered it. Yeah. Well, are you gonna stay in Brazil or how's it gonna work? Well, we'll to I'm going manager. back to Brazil to manage manage some things, mm -hmm. but uh, they're, they're coming back to USA to manage a visa for me because oh, Brazilians okay. doesn't have access. There's a will, there's a will, there's a way. There's a yeah, way to find a way. Yeah, absolutely. So you're looking to be a you know, permanent member of the band yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Fantastic. So the album, is it the American Scream? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Is that out yet? It's uh, coming 25th out soon. Is, uh, 25th of March. 25th of March it comes out. And tell me a bit about the kind of music, the kind of style of playing on the album. Scott thinks he can, he can, he can, he can, he, go ahead. Bro. Well, I mean, I can't describe it. It's, it's undescribable. It's sometimes it's like difficult. So, it's so unique. That, that, that's the thing is like, uh, like he was saying, well, I guess we were talking about it earlier. I mean, I was a friend of these guys and like a fan of the band because I was, I was in another band in Phoenix and we played a few shows together. Mm -hmm. So like. The very first time I, I watched them, I just really, really liked them. And then I got to know Darren a little bit better, uh, just talking and everything else. We end up at this party where they've they've recorded everything, so I got to listen to it for the very first time as, as they're showing it to people. Mm -hmm. And the first notes of 1134 came out, and I was just like loving it, because I, I can't really describe it. It's basically about as, as heavy as stuff gets heavy, but yeah. with really good, solid vocals. It's not just screaming. So, so it's, you were a fan of the band oh, that came into the band. That's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So. He was at every show. And yeah. then so like, when 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 our other, one of our guitar, guitar players departed, we talked, first, about we, 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 we talked about it before you. We talked about we talked about it before before anything. So it was the natural was, choice for yeah, absolutely. You to come into I mean, the, the, the guy's a total sweetheart. You know what I mean? It's oh. just like yeah, he is so, nice. so easy to get along with. You know, it's just like he was just a perfect fit. You know, absolutely cool. Yeah, yeah. Is the word. <laughs> yeah. sweetheart. And he's got he's some sweetheart. really good tattoos. Love this guy, so yeah. the best. That's always important for That's heavy metal bands. Always important. Yeah. And good hair. Oh. Well. Good hair and tattoos, that's what you need. <laughs> Not in this humidity. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got else planned this year, 2013? New material. So you're going to start working on new material already? Yeah. Already, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. already yeah. We've got our own studio. So. How many songs have we got recorded now? Probably, I'd say about 15, 16 yeah. tracks. And then he tracks. sends over five. That one is already completed already. Right, okay. You know, so, and it's like <laughs> the best so song So the next album is already kind of in the pipeline. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're working. It's a little bit different yeah. sound-wise. Uh, it's funny because everybody's got different influences. Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got material that, he, that was laying around that should have been <coughs> utilized before. It's like, I didn't know if it, if it would fit in. Like, oh, you know, right. I didn't know if it would fit in. And then, and then he was just like, really, man, what do you got? I'm totally dry. And I'm I was just dry. like, just like what, what do you got? <clears throat> It's good for everyone to have their influence yeah. mm -hmm. apart in the And then I, I sat down, I, I played the, I played the bass line for the, the two parts, and I sat down, and I, I got behind the kit, and I showed this is the way that I want the drums to be, and I played drums as well. And uh, and he was just, we, we tracked it that day. <laughs> we tracked it. We tracked yeah. it that day, and it was, we put that song it's a lot heavier. in a minute. It was all, he's like, yeah, I don't really know if this can be a COD song. Then he played it, we're like, that's definitely it a COD is. song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, yeah you said a... a um, a couple riffs, like, and I was able to like loop them in a, a program on uh, called Soundforge, and uh, had a set, had lyrics for 24 hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, great! And so lots of new and, material. And he doesn't sleep, so it's like we'll we'll practice, and like I'll get home at like 2 a.m. and uh, my phone's ringing. I'm like, well, it's only one person. Sure enough, <laughs> he's like, dude, you've got to get you've got to get online right now and check this out, check this out. And I get he's on not there, like, and I'm like, go oh, to sleep. Holy cow! And it was. It was what Sam had sent over, and he had started working on it, and it was just, it, it was just amazing. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to bed either now. I got to watch this for a while. So that's great. great. You guys are constantly on the go, then. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Have you managed to see any other bands here this weekend? Oh, I, I saw, I saw Killing Joke last night, and yeah, I watched that. And, that yeah, good. and Destruction. I miss that. Dude. Were they good? I want to see Angel I wasn't Witch. feeling very well. Let's go. Oh, crap. I saw Enslaved. So I, I want to see Angel Witch. Oh, Angel Witch later on tonight, yeah. don't they? The 
this should be good. I, I, I was, I mean, Killing Joke was awesome, and then Destruction came out, and I was just like, and they were three piece, and I was yeah, they are, blown yeah. away at, at a three piece. <clears throat> They're full sound. They make a lot of noise for they three guys, don't they? Yeah, it's like as if they have two guitar amps for the one yeah. guitar that gives it two different sounds and make it sound more fuller or something because it was just too it was just too full to be a three piece yeah. you know it's definitely like, yeah. well I hope you guys have enjoyed your weekend here it's lovely to meet you and thanks for taking the time for an interview yes the festivities were lovely good good mm -hmm. festivities mm -hmm. I'm gonna go find a 12 step meeting <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers guys thanks very much <laughs>